welcome back. So today I am continuing my favorites for spring series and today is going to be my favorite lipsticks for spring. And this series may end up being a series of two videos. <laughs> I don't really know what else to do because I did blushes and then now I'm doing lipsticks and I don't really know what else I want to do because those are the two categories I really get into in the spring. I thought about nail polishes, but I have a lot of limited edition nail polishes, so I don't know how that would really go. I guess I could do eyeshadows. I don't know. Let me know and maybe I'll try to fit that in. If not, this is a series of two videos. <laughs> but anyway, this is lipsticks today and I love bright, fun colored lipsticks, but in the spring, I just really get excited for like the girly, sweet, fun, colorful type colors and I just like go crazy with fun, bright lip colors just like I'm wearing today. So I have it divided into categories. I don't even know how many I grabbed, so this is my favorite whatever number. Um, so I have it divided by color categories and one category I have a lot more. So the pink lip category wins by a lot. but. I just really love pink lips, so I wanted to really pick things that I really, really love rather than just kind of like picking a random one from another color group that I maybe don't like as much as a pink lip. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got, I don't even know how many, but these are all things that I really love, lipsticks that I love to wear in the spring, so if you want to see my favorites, then just keep watching. Okay, we're going to start with the pink category since I have the most of those. Um, these first two that I'm going to tell you about, these are more like if I need something that will go with more things. I feel like these work a little bit better with more eye looks and cheek looks and whatever. So the first one is, this is Wet n Wild's um, Furky Lipstick in VI Pink. I love this color. I'm gonna say that about all of them, so be prepared for some repetitive speech here. This one is just a beautiful, basic pink. It's kind of like it's got a little bit of purple in it. Don't mind if I have a weird tan line. You know, it happens. Um, this is just a really pretty, nice, easy pink. And I'd seen people talk about it and I wasn't just, I just really wasn't that interested in it. But once I bought it and put it on my lips, oh my gosh, love this. And these are relatively, well, really inexpensive actually. They're not like $2, but they're like, I think four or so. So they're very affordable and a really nice formula. And I just love this color. So Wet n Wild's Fergie lipstick in VI Pink, love it. Next is one of the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. This is in Razzle Dazzle Rose. And this is relatively new in my collection. I got it um, maybe two months ago, but I've really been wearing it recently and I just love it. This lipstick is one that just goes with so many different looks. It's just an easy, wearable pink. It's very moisturizing, very glossy, just a really comfortable formula. These have a little bit of like a lemon cookie scent, really, really lightly scented though. It's not overwhelming at all, but I just love that color. I just feel like this is Every time I put this lipstick on, I just feel like it's so, it finishes the look, but it doesn't like take away from if you've got like um, a brighter eye going on, this will still work. At least that's what I've found is that it just is a nice pink that goes with a lot of different eye looks and it's just a great formula. So good. Okay, this is another one that I can just grab when I want something quick, but that is still cute and springy and fun and girly. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Cherish. It's just a really pretty, sweet, light baby pink. It's very glossy. It's not super opaque. So kind of the, the sheer kind of color to it really makes it go with so many different things. And when I was looking through my different lipsticks, deciding which ones I wanted to include in this video, I just had to include this one because I grab for it the most of all my Just Bitten Kissable Balm stains, but um, I just grab for it a lot in general because when I'm running out the door and I'm kind of out of time, I don't have time to think through which lipstick I'm gonna grab. This one is still fun and cute and girly and springy, but it goes well, it's easy to use. I really like the formula of these. So I just find that I grab for this one a lot. So I knew that I had to include it in this video. It's just a great, easy pink that goes with a lot. 
Next is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and I do have a darker lip liner on with it, so it changes it just slightly, but not by a lot. This is one of the Maybelline Vivids. I love these. I have two more that I'm gonna share with you. I just love these. If you're wanting bright, fun lipsticks, especially from the drugstore, this, this whole line is so good. I love them. So the first one I have to share is Pink Pop, and this is just a gorgeous, bright, happy, baby pink. I love it. It is so cute. Let me turn that around. So, so cute. Easy to wear. These do smell like Play-Doh, you know, so that's not my favorite, but it's really not overwhelming at all. Um, I don't know if I've just gotten used to the scent of them or if it's really just not that big of a deal. Like I put it on my lips and I can, I can smell it, but then once I've worn it for a little bit, I really don't notice it and they don't bother me. Um, but I just really, I like these. I think I have hair on my lips. Um, I just really, really like these. They're a great formula. So if you've never tried the Vivids from Maybelline, they're amazing. People talk about them all the time because they really are that good. Next I have one from Milani. These are the, I believe they're called the Color Statement lipsticks from them and they're like five or 550 or something so they're super affordable and i love the formula on them this shade is hot pink rage and i just find that every time i wear this color i love it it is one of my very favorite bright um pinks but it has a lot of red to it and it's kind of a satin finish but it's it's almost a matte i don't even know if it says what formula it is but it's in between a satin or a matte. It's one or the other, but I just love it. I love it in the tube, but when I go to wear it, I just, I remember how much I love this formula and how much I love this color. And it kind of reminds me of, and I can't remember if it's a dupe or not. I have a lipstick dupe video on my channel. I'll link it down below. Um, I think this is, is this a dupe for um, the MAC Impassioned? I don't know, but if it, I can't remember. You can go watch that video if you wanna know for sure, but um, it's similar. It has that same kind of look. If it's not an exact dupe, it's very, very similar to it. It's that kind of like pink that's mixed with a little bit of orange, a little bit of red, just bright and fun and beautiful. And like I said, a great formula. So uh, Milani's Hot Pink Rage, so fun. Next is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in Showy. I love these. They're just a great matte formula, so I love the actual product. I love the actual matte balms, and I love several of the colors in the, the line. But this one is just a really pretty mid-toned pink. If you just want, I want a cute pink lip, this will do it for you. Now it's matte, you know, so you definitely want to be a fan of matte lipsticks if you go for this one, but I just love it. Um, it's a lot, it's darker than these other ones as you can see. It's just, you know, it's it's a darker color. It's got more pigment to it, whereas these are just a lighter or brighter formula. So they're definitely different. I'm doing a lot of pinks, but they're definitely different pinks. And I just really love the formula of these, like I said, and these are so easy to use. This like, you know, pencil type lip product, I'm just a huge fan of because they're just easy. You just grab them and just draw it on your lips and you're good to go. So. These are all really fun and I almost grabbed some more, but I was trying to give more variety. Um, so I love them all, but this one, especially this pretty cute pink and showy is so, so fun. One of my favorites. Next is a total cult classic that I'm sure that you've heard a lot of girls talk about and it's the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in Hot Plum. Again, the Vivids, they're amazing. This one, I feel like a bunch of girls talk about it and there's good reason because this one is just so fun. This is kind of, it's not a pink, it's more into, these are all, you know, obviously pinks, but the Hot Pink Rage was kind of more of a reddish pink, whereas this one is kind of a purpley pink. It's really, it's pretty much the color of the year. It's pretty much Radiant Orchid. So if you're looking for that Radiant Orchid lip to be a part of that trend, then Hot Plum is definitely your lipstick. And I just feel like this, this shade is like, I don't know, I feel like when I wear it, I feel fun, I feel like I need to go to a party, and I need to look um, kind of a little bit 80s, and I don't know, like something about, and it's a little bit shiny. So something about 
that kind of pinky purple lip that's a little bit shiny looks just 80s and fun to me and I like it. I don't know. I have nothing. I like 80s. I think it's fun. So um, this is definitely one of my favorites and it's a favorite of a lot of girls on YouTube and for good reason because it's a really, really fun color and again, a great formula. Okay, and then now I've got some kind of corally peachy type shades. So the first one is Max Sweet and Sour. So this was originally limited edition, part of their like orange something collection, and then they just recently made it permanent. And I love this one. I guess I'll swatch it down on my wrist because that's where I've got space. I love this color. How many times have I said that in this video? I'm sorry, but I love them all because they're favorites. This one is just a really nice light peachy shade and it can get a little bit scary. So to make it a little bit more wearable, I just use a darker lip liner and kind of blend it into it. But I just love it. It's just a really great, it's a light peach, but it's not totally unwearable. You know, some light peaches are like, whoa, scary, really hard to pull off. I feel like this one is easier to pull off. And when I wear it with a slightly darker lip liner and blend it into it, I love it. It's just light and, um, I don't know, almost makes you look a little bit more tan. Is that possible with my pale skin? I don't know. But it almost seems like I have a little bit more color or I don't know. It just, it feels not only springtime, but summery too. So sweet and sour, again, MAC lipsticks. Love them all, but I really love this shade. And then next I have Max Flamingo. And this one is a little bit more pinky than Sweet and Sour. Um, again, this one came out as a part of several limited edition collections actually, but I got it as part of the orange collection, but now it's permanent, which is so cool. This one is a luster, so it's a nice shiny formula really comfortable to wear. The lusters are really easy to wear. If you're a little bit scared of brighter lip colors, the lusters from MAC are just a great one to start with because um, they're a little bit more forgiving. It, they start out more sheer, but then you can build them up and have more pigmentation to them. I love Flamingo. It's just a really beautiful corally pink. And I feel like this is a shade that, you know, some of these, you have to plan for them. Like your whole makeup look. Like I'll have to think, okay, I want to wear hot pink rage today. So I'm going to need to plan my eye look and my cheek color around this lipstick. Whereas I feel like Flamingo is one that I can just kind of grab after I have the rest of my makeup done and I'm trying to look for a fun, bright, springy color, but still that goes with a lot of different things. So I just love Flamingo. It's one of my very favorites. And Sweet and Sour was a cream sheen. So that one's, you know, obviously a more kind of opaque color. Whereas this one, you can get it to be pretty opaque. I mean, that's still pretty, you know, pretty solid there, but you have to build it up because it'll start out a lot more sheer, but that makes it a lot easier to work with and a, a little bit more forgiving. And then lastly, I have a beautiful bright coral that I grabbed for this one a lot. I wore this a lot last year and I know I'm gonna wear it again this year. I've actually already worn it twice, I think. Um, this is, I should tell you, this is Vibrant Mandarin. Again, one of the Vivids, love these. This one is so pretty. And when I first like got it and swatched it, I was scared of it because it's, it's a pretty bright coral, but it has quite a bit of red in it. But when I went to wear it, oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. And I feel like these kind of orangey shades down here really bring out blue eyes because um, even though you're not putting this on your eyes, <laughs> it's still a contrasting color to your eye color. So it's really gonna help just your other features pop if you have blue eyes. So I just really love these kind of orangey shades like this. And these are three that I just feel like are easy to wear that um, I do have to plan around this one. So I have to plan my eye look like a bronzy eye or just a neutral eye of some kind. But uh, I just love it. Every time I go to wear it, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's just, it's sweet and fun and bright, but it's different. It's not a pink and it's still, you know, that orangey lip that's really fun for spring. And I still feel like when I wear it, I don't feel like I'm walking around and people are going, whoa, that chick has orange lipstick on. It's more, oh, she has a pretty happy lip color. 
I don't know what they're thinking, but I don't think they're immediately thinking orange lips, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more easy to pull off. So um, I just really love this one. I wear it a lot. I find that I grab for this one really, really often. It's one of my, well obviously, I grab the three that I grab for the most in the Vivids line. And this one, Hot Plum and Pink Pop, are definitely the three that I grab for. Okay guys, so those are all my favorite lipstick colors for spring. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I would love to hear your favorite lipsticks for spring. I'm a lipstick junkie. I'm a makeup junkie in general, so I always love hearing your suggestions. Maybe there are some that I need to try out this spring that I haven't already tried, so I would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!